We love robot vacuums here at Android Headlines. They're one of the best ways to keep your home clean on a daily basis. iRobot offers some of the most premium robots on the market with quite a few features that you simply can't get elsewhere. In this test, we're going to be pitting the Roomba i7 against the Roomba S9. For those not in the know, the Roomba i7 starts at $699 as of this review, while the S9 is well more than 50% more expensive at $1,099. Each vacuum can be purchased alongside what iRobot calls a clean base for $200 more. This clean base allows the vacuum to empty itself in the middle of a cycle, theoretically enabling a better clean since it can pick up more junk without any user interaction. In this video, we're going to be testing the Roomba i7 and the S9 with and without the clean base to see what sort of difference this can make. While putting the robot in a small area and cleaning gives us an idea of comparable cleaning performance in a specific situation, these robots are made to clean an entire house at one time, not just a tiny area, and the behavior differences between these scenarios could make all the difference in the world. Let's go over the test setup, shall we? Starting with the kitchen, we crushed one cracker and put it under the cabinet, while a full tablespoon of coffee grounds were mounded in the middle of the floor. In the dining room, you'll find two crushed crackers placed under two different chairs to account for those chair legs as obstacles. Moving into the hall, we placed two tablespoons of coffee beans along the wall in the middle of the hall, while one tablespoon of hair was spread out in the far corner. One tablespoon of hair was spread out in a small area in the middle of one bedroom, while the other bedroom has two tablespoons of beans against the far wall. Lastly, the master bathroom was given a treatment of one tablespoon of hair spread out in the middle of the tile floor. We'll begin with the statistics of the clean. The Roomba i7 cleaned approximately 396 square feet of space in 1 hour and 12 minutes, while the Roomba S9 cleaned approximately 411 square feet in 1 hour 32 minutes. The app shows 4 hours and 15 minutes total for the S9, but that's for two reasons. First off, the vacuum got stuck for nearly an hour and a half while I was out of the house. By the time I got back, it needed an hour and 20 minutes to charge so that it could complete the cleaning test, so we really should be comparing the cleaning times for this particular test. Now, what I really like about iRobot's maps is the notation of extra dirty spots where the vacuum ran an additional pass for cleaning. That'll show you exactly where we placed everything in the house. You'll see these dirt areas scattered about as checkered spots throughout the house map. You'll also notice that the Roomba i7 detected an extra dirt event than the S9 did, meaning that dirt detection sensor on the i7 was tripped an additional time for a triple cleaning pass of a specific area. So we can see by the time of the clean that the Roomba S9 takes a little bit longer, but it seems it's a bit more meticulous than the Roomba i7. That behavior pans out in the cleaning results as you'll see here. Let's start with the kitchen. Both vacuums are able to pick up the coffee grounds without leaving even so much as a single speck anywhere on the floor. The Roomba S9 was able to clean up absolutely every bit of the crushed cracker in the kitchen though, while the Roomba i7 left some notable bits of cracker under the counter where the cracker was placed, as well as in the middle of the floor where it probably got flung by the side brush. Adding the clean base to the i7 resulted in less cracker bits left in the kitchen, but overall, still more crackers than what the Roomba S9 left. A definite win in the kitchen for the S9. The dining room wasn't quite as cut and dry. The Roomba S9 was able to clear away every bit of cracker under that leftmost chair, but it looks like it completely missed the cracker bits under the rightmost chair. The Roomba i7 definitely got into all the places under the table, but it left the same bits of cracker under there that it left in the kitchen. Adding the clean base to the i7 makes it a neck and neck tie with the S9. The trend now is that the clean base seems to alter the cleaning behavior enough in a positive way that shelling out the extra cash certainly seems to be worth it. Let's see how the rest of the tests go. On to the haul. The Roomba i7 left a total of 8 beans in the hall, mostly confined to the area where they were spread. 5 beans were in the exact area where I had placed them, while 3 beans appear to have been flung to the other wall. I also found 1 bean at the entrance to my son's bedroom at the end of the hall, which makes 9 beans left in total for the i7. Meanwhile, the Roomba S9 left only 4 beans after a full cleaning. 
One bean was in the same area where I placed them, while one bean was actually flung into the living room and was sitting on the area rug nearest the hall. The last two beans were found at the entrance to one of the bedrooms in the far corner of the hall. Both vacuums appeared to have handled all the hair in that corner at first, but when I peered into the bedroom next to this corner, I realized that wasn't the case. Next to those two remaining beans from the S9's test, I also found two small tufts of hair, bits clearly left over from the larger clumps that were placed in the hall. The Roomba i7, on the other hand, left two sizable clumps of hair sitting at the foot of the bed, both of which were larger than the ones left by the S9. The Roomba i7 with clean base also left two tufts of hair, this time a little closer to the hall, but largely the same size and quantity as it did without the clean base. The Roomba S9 wins once again, but it's not by a huge margin. Now for the kiddo's bedroom. This one had hair placed in the middle of the room. The Roomba i7 left some small hair follicles in the middle of the room where I had originally placed them, and left some small bits next to one of the beans at the entrance of the room as well. Adding the clean base to the i7 resulted in less hair in the room overall when compared to the i7 without the clean base. The Roomba S9 cleaned up every scrap of hair in this room, giving it a very easy win in this test. The master bedroom is next, and this one is almost a tie. The beans were spread out along the corner, and it's clear that the better corner cleaning abilities of the S9 helped it pick up a few more beans, but the S9 also scattered them around more than the Roomba i7 did. The S9 only left 9 beans in this same corner, but ended up dragging some of the beans around the room, and left them around the perimeter of the door leading to the master bathroom. 20 of the beans that the i7 left were stuck in the corner where the carpet tapers off, while 9 of them were left closer to the middle of that section of the carpet. Tossing the i7 on a clean base first results in one of the more surprising changes in the entire test. Only 19 beans were left after a whole home clean. This particular result was also interesting not just because of the big difference between having a clean base or not, but particularly because the S9 usually has better corner cleaning performance than the i7. The S9 wins without a clean base, and the i7 wins with a clean base. Lastly is the master bathroom where we can see some more massive differences had by adding a clean base. The S9 and i7 with the clean base quite literally cleaned up the remainder of the test. No hair at all was left in the bathroom in either the cleaning runs involving either the S9 or the i7 with the cleaning base. Meanwhile, the i7 by itself left three big clumps of hair in the bathroom, one small clump on the carpet just outside of the bathroom, and even some loose follicles spread around the floor of the tiled bathroom as well. By itself, the i7 loses in, well, every single test. When paired with the clean base, the i7 wins a single test and ties with the S9 in two other tests. Overall, the S9 wins three of the tests outright and remains the winner for this challenge. It's quite interesting to see just how much that clean base can improve overall cleaning performance if you shell out the extra cash for it. Definitely an interesting test today. We hope you enjoyed that comparison and will subscribe to us for more content. Chat with us on your favorite social media network and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 worldwide tech news coverage. Thanks for watching and until next time.